Well, that's me back out again. Um, today I'm up the Mons and I'm going to be hiking up Binion. Could be doing the loop, but the opposite way up to Blue Lock, up that way, and then back down the other side. It's a bit murky, can't really see much. <laughs> so, not too sure if I'll be getting the drone out today. So, yeah, I'm out with uh, the NI Walking Photography Group today. Um, first time I've had a walk in ages. I've put on loads of weight, a serious amount of weight, so it's going to kill us today. But nevertheless, this is what I need. This is what I need to lose weight. <laughs> So yeah, we'll wait for the others and then we'll get started. Trying to get warm. <laughs> so we're going up there. I don't know if you can see well on the, the GoPro. But we're going to go to Blue Lock first. Uh, take five minutes up to the saddle, and then we'll turn left. Tell you what, all this extra fat on us—it's killing us. <laughs> but this is what I needed. Get out. Something like Binion's perfect for to get the buzz back. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of people in here today. Uh, if anyone's interested, it's the NI Walking Photography Group. You can catch them on Facebook. It's run by a person called David Doyle. Uh, so if you haven't got the confidence to go up by yourself or you don't know where to go, something like this will be perfect for you, you know. I'll put the link in the description where you can uh, find them and then see if any walks are interested. Or something like that, you know, if you're just starting out, just or even want to meet people, you know. Uh, everyone's dead friendly who I've met, everyone talks to you, so yeah, everyone feels definitely welcome here. But yeah, I was tempted to get the drone out earlier. I just want to get there. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm hoping that breaks up. So I can get a just get the drone out for a little bit. Tested in some winds. drone out there uh, there wasn't much to see to tell you the truth just on the blue lock but I couldn't land it the drone wouldn't land I think it's because of this fog so it couldn't, it couldn't determine where the the ground was for the sensors underneath so it was just stuck there for ages so I need to catch up with the group I think hopefully they'll just be at the saddle taking five minutes before they start heading up the top of Binion uh, even though there's not much views it's uh, it's still really nice. I like it when it's moody like this. Obviously not so good for the videos, but just for getting out and about to class. Right, so yeah. try and wipe that down a bit. Got nothing to wipe it with. It's lashing down again, and I've caught up with the group. So it's starting to send up a uh, binion. I was going to get my poles out, but I thought I need to get my fitness up, so I'm just going to leave them. Well, for now anyway, but as you can see, they're going up there. But I don't know if you can see, just down here somewhere, starting to break off. 
just where them lads are standing. They said they couldn't see anything up here. So, uh, it's always a brilliant view coming up this way or coming down to see that lock. I did a camp at the end of there, um, I think it was last year. A few of the boys, I'll put the link or the tab or whatever it's called up at the top here so you can check that out. Second time I've been up here, can I see anything? It's still good to be out, but you know, I still haven't got the views yet. Uh, this new regard I caught, drenched, right on my back, so it's not the best. Okay for a, maybe he's walking the dog or something like that, but nothing in torrential rain. So, but yeah, I wish it was a clear day. Into the best. Start to see some views. <laughs> oh, yes, look at this. Start to break off. Hopefully, just hopefully, I can actually get to see what I've tried to see. The last two times I've been up here. Oh yes, looks class. I'll show you when we get closer. So we've just reached South Tor on Binion. As you can see behind us here, this is the Mall Mall. This runs right over 15 peaks of 22 mile. And that's our plan on doing. Uh, maybe April time, April, May. Doing the whole lot. Obviously the views aren't the best today. But whatever you can see behind you, right round up to Donard. It's my mission over two days with camping gear. Uh, like I say, I'll hopefully, hopefully be doing it for charity. Give us a bit of a push. But if, it, if it's not going to be two days, it'll be three days or four, whatever it takes. I'll stay on the wall until it's finished. Maybe just get it just eat. Take away <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a good walk. Like I say, everyone's wet. It's a bit windy, a bit cold, but. At least the views just started to break up a little bit. And a good crowd as well, so. All right, so we're gonna start ascending down now. Nice steady pace, not too bad just to get back into it. Like I say, if there was clear views here, you could see right down there. There's a famous rock on the other side, what everyone gets a picture took on. Uh, there's no point in the day really, like so. But yeah, cracking crack a little spot. Wind's picking up quite a lot, so as you can see, the group's starting to walk down here.
be back to the car park. A uh, really good walk. I can feel it the day like it's been that long. But yeah, there's gonna be more to come. Like I say, different mix it up with stuff like uh, locations, uh, equipment reviews and stuff like that. As well as getting out, trying to lose some of this fat. But yeah, if you watched all of this, I appreciate it, like always. And um, if you can give us a thumbs up, that'd be great. So yeah.